As the weather transitions from cold and icy to warm and rainy, the chances of slip and fall accidents are likely to happen. This is something that the Director of Therapy Services with Surgeon's Choice Medical Center in Southfield sees all too often this time of year. She gives us some tips and tricks on how to prevent those slips and falls that occur inside and outside of the home. So I do recommend that you communicate with your family, friends, and neighbors. They may assist you with snow shoveling, groceries, anything that you may need outside of your home. The other thing that I recommend is that you have either a lifeline, a cell phone, something on you at all times if you are alone. The other thing that I recommend is having um, either non-slid mats or removing area rugs within your home, especially in your entranceways. When you walk in the door and it's dark outside, it's 5 p.m. already, and you're not paying attention, you've got your hands full, you may slip on something that is not secured to the ground. Uh, my last do would be to make sure that you have all of your equipment. If you know that you have certain things within your home that are more challenging or that require a certain setup or equipment, make sure you do that ahead of time. Don't just panic and do it all at one time. Make sure that you give yourself the time and the equipment and the space to complete the tasks that you need. Um, one last thing is good lighting. In addition to having clear entryways, good lighting, especially at night when we come home from work these days, it's already dark at 5 p.m. If you don't have good lighting in your entranceways or in your hallways, you could also fall because of that. When you're coming in from the outside, it could be wet, snowy, you have boots on, hands full. Make sure you have good lighting so that you don't take a tumble.